So another question we have, uh, Michael on LinkedIn, he's asking, curious about organizational dynamics. What is the lowest probability there was accepted for our data? As an engineer, I like 85%. Is there an experience with say a 50% probability forecast or does the business generally accept the recommended confidence level? <laughs> I know that that's why it's gonna have this in just a second, but I wanna throw out there. Remember, um, gamblers love 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get 50 50 odds that that's exciting enough to go for and likely enough that it's a good game <laughs> a lot of companies don't gamble like that so I'll that's right why it go with what's in his mind but i wanted to throw out there some places might go with gamblers odds yeah yeah that's right yeah some people might go with 50 50 but most organizations i've seen uh management tends to want something uh 80 or higher and so that's usually where we go. And then I I work with teams where management says, I really need 100%, but I'm willing to go 90%. So yeah, yeah it's the, just feedback for them. That's all it is. Yeah. The way I usually talk about this is I say, you know what? Um, the 50% chance is, you know, I, I'm a gambling man. If you're game for a coin flip, I am too. But um, are you game for a coin flip? And and I've never heard someone in, in a business context say, yes, I am. <laughs> That's right. That's good. The interesting thing about the uh, the confidence interval, uh, you know, I think eighty five percent. That was a, a sweet spot for the team I uh, I worked with most recently using this. Um, and when the when the the deadline date was you know six eight months away, eighty five percent confidence interval was great. You know, it was close enough. It was a high enough confidence interval that the team could could focus on the work and you know we could track to the expected date within that range and everything's fine. But when the date started getting closer, you know, when we were no longer, you know, 8 6 months out, we were getting more like uh, you know, 4 or 3 or you know, months away, we switched and we started looking more closely at 95% confidence because missing it at 15% began to be an unacceptable uh, margin of error. So uh, it's nice that the tool gives you that um, those other ranges that, you know, most of those re report them out and you can shift your focus to using a, a higher level of uh, confidence. 